Welcome to Philly Life, the local initiative for food education. As farmers, we have nearly year-round access to great local fresh produce. We happen to think our neighbors, farmers or not, should have the same. That's why we came up with the LIFE program, to help food stamp recipients and other low-income families learn more about where to find fresh local produce and learn how best to use it to get the most from it. Each week we'll cover another fruit or vegetable. Farmer Ryan Cook will talk about the seasonality and how these crops are grown and harvested. And Chef Corbin Evans will share tips on how to prepare these foods, get the, the maximum benefit and value from them. Life, fresh food makes it better. Welcome to the LIFE program and today we're going to be talking about blueberries. Blueberries, most of the ones in the Northeast are harvested in nearby Hamilton, New Jersey, which is the blueberry capital of the Northeast. Um, I'm here with Corbin Evans and we're going to talk about um, organic versus non-organic and fruit, why it's important or not important. And of course, you've already washed these blueberries. We talked about that in a previous episode of how it's a good idea to wash the fruit. But tell me a little bit about organic and fruit and what, why it is more important perhaps with fruit than it is with some other uh, th from foods. From what I understand, the, the fruits and vegetables that are uh, sprayed with chemicals um, are the ones like strawberries and blueberries and apples and things. So you might want to try going organic on those fruits, things where you eat the outer skin as opposed to melons where you can cut the skin off and you're not going to expose yourself to the chemicals. Because um, even a good wash on the on the conventional berries isn't going to necessarily remove all the harmful harmful things. So if you had a choice between local and organic, definitely go organic as opposed to conventional when you have fresh fruit and berries. And okay, so anything that you're going to be eating the skin, the skin on, as right. you are with strawberries and and blueberries, and when you see these, and there's sort of a there's sort of a white haze to them. That's not pesticide. Residue no. is it? That's just that's, that's just, just that's just moisture yep. on the yep. berry. So that's not anything that yeah, you see it just kind of that you, yeah yeah just wipes off. Yep. Um, we're gonna make blueberry pancakes and we're also gonna make blueberry lemonade. Very refreshing summertime. We're in the middle of a heat wave here in <laughs> Philadelphia, so that should go pretty quickly. And when you're sorting through the blueberries, really you just have to make sure that there's no dead guys. No in dead there. guys, and I pick off the stems if you see any. If you see any stems? Um, Occasionally a stem will. And all we're gonna do through. is. Give these a, a, a puree with uh, some sugar, some water, and some fresh lemon juice, and add ice, and ready to go. All right. Uh, a quick little tip when you're doing juice and citrus: if you give it a little roll first, it kind of breaks up the, the juice inside. I'm gonna give you a little bit more juice out of each one. I'm gonna just uh, block in the seeds with this. strainer here. And you only need a, maybe a third of a cup for this recipe. It's going to make a pitcher full of lemon juice or uh, lemonade. So is there a, is there a rule about uh, uh, water to lemon in lemonade? These are, I mean, these are incredibly juicy yeah. <laughs> lemons, I have to say. Sometimes you get a lemon and there's just, hard there's, and dry yeah, inside. There yeah. is nothing. I mean, you're, you're just stand there with it. Quite honestly, with gin and tonic and nothing in it. I mean, um, um, I, when I do, what do, the, you, do you do you feel? Do you squeeze? You can you, you can give them a uh, weight helps a light a lighter uh -huh. you know uh -huh. light weight to the size would probably mean that's not so juicy. But you get a little squeeze and, and make them feel like they have something in them. I guess um, can't really go by the smell because hopefully they'll smell like lemons. It all smells like. Um, loves the, there's something in Seventeen magazine when I was in high school, and ev all the magazines arrived smelling like lemons. I think we were all supposed to dye our hair blonde. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, the, lemon yeah. up or lemon Le sun in. Sun in. Sun in. Yeah, yeah, everything was lemon. Lemon. Yeah. lemon. I never dawned on us to make lemonade out of them. We were so busy dyeing our hair. All right, so we got the the juice. And we'll put the berries right in here. Maybe a cup. And about a half a cup of sugar. 
Berries are nice and sweet. You don't need as much sugar. And again, it's it's our rule on this show that sugar is not a four-letter word. It's actually S-U-G-A-R. It's, it's actually a five-letter five word, but you know what I mean. It's not a four-letter word. It's not a bad thing. It's just a bad thing when you overdo it. Right. So um, I'm so gonna go ahead and use this fancy. Uh, yeah. What is this thing? It's a the best tool been invented in the last ten years. It's a really? hand blender. So for. Uh -huh pureeing things right in a container like this as opposed to having to put it in a blender. It's great for soups right in the pan rather than having to wait till it's cool. Right. It's only got one speed on Just one speed on, on and off. Be careful the blade's sharp. Yeah. Obviously. There's, so the, it's, there's the blade. But so you it's, don't it's recess. It by yeah. You don't want to yeah. do that. But it's recess so that it won't jam up in the uh, pitcher. Or anything. So we're just going to give a, a quick blend with the greatest tool ever invented in the last 10 years. You have to strain this. No. Skin's all good for you. The best part, health wise. This is another one of those things that um, you can make for your kids and they'll probably like it and it'll be good for them and they won't necessarily they won't know. know it. Yeah. It's, uh, we, we've done it with strawberries. Works great with strawberry lemonade. Um, is that good enough? That's perfect. Yeah. Watermelon lemonade works really great. Um, and then you just add the cold water. And then top it off with some ice. And then get a couple of glasses. I'm ready here. to yeah. make mine. There you go. I've noticed that now in commercials they have um, all these things that say you don't have to tell your children that there's vegetables in them. You can, yeah. just, God forbid. Cheers. Look, I am to you. That's delicious. Quick, refreshing. simple. Yeah. yeah. Keep it in the fridge and then pour it over ice cubes if you want to stretch a little more. Right. And not have it be. I guess you could freeze this too into an icy uh, pop, put it into yep. an ice cube tray. Um, put That's it into a good an idea. ice cube tray with a stick in it and then pop it out for the kids for a, for a, yeah. for a treat. Or even make these into the cubes and then put them into plain lemonade so you get a little fancy... Uh, right. Good. Right on.